Weezy out of here. The dash is digi, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. What is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I know I have been gone for a minute, but I'm back. As you guys can tell by the title and as you guys can see, in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a, another hair review install video. It's kind of also, I guess, a tutorial because I'm going to be showing you guys how I actually just like dyed this little piece of hair but all I did was really bleach it but I also showed you how I install my hair where I like leave a little bit out and make it I guess look a little bit more natural so if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this hair and see how I installed and style this hair then just keep on watching I am going to go ahead and start from the beginning and show you guys exactly how this hair came and how I installed it on my head so if you're interested in that then just keep on watching if you guys want to know just my final thoughts on the wig or the hair if you're just interested and looking for reviews then I'll leave a timestamp right now so if you guys want to just skip to the review then you can skip to it at this time right here but all of the information and the links to this hair and the wigs and all of that will be listed in the description box down below and I'll also leave like a little mini list of like pros and cons of my overall opinions if you're interested but enough talking let's just jump into it this hair right here is from Asteria hair I've gotten hair from them in the past and I do really like their hair so this is what the box looks like it's just this like white and like greenish bluish um, box that just says Asteria hair on the front and when you open up the box it did look a little bit nicer I just went ahead and opened this up prior to filming and then I just put the wig back in the box but the wig itself comes in a separate plastic bag and then they also sent some wig caps which was really nice you can never have too many wig caps so I always love that so the hair is in the length 22 inches and it is a wig this is their water wave wig it's in 180 density and it's in the length 22 inches and it is a six by six closure wig so it's not a full lace closure and it's also not like a lace frontal it's a six by six closure which I actually really prefer because you get a lot of parting space to go back which is really nice so this is what the hair looks like at first and I honestly didn't really love how these waves were looking they looked honestly kind of like synthetic hair but as soon as you wet the hair it literally pops into these nicer waves which I love so I did go ahead and I did lightly bleach the knots and then I also bleached the hair to get this like little patch of like brown I guess or like blondish brown so I just used some W some BW2 powder and I just eyeball this there are some more in-depth tutorials on YouTube if you are a beginner or you do not know what bleaching your knot is or how to bleach your knots you can go ahead and like look up some more in-depth videos but I'm just showing you guys what I did to install this wig so yeah I just took the powder and I added some 40 volume developer and I just mixed it until it was pretty thick I add a little bit of developer at a time so that it doesn't get too runny but worst case you can always just add some more powder but um, I realized that it's much better if the consistency is a little bit thicker so that it doesn't like blend or I guess leak through the lace and like dye your actual hair and then I did tie up the hair because I always make a mess when I bleach my knots and I like over bleach my knots or get some bleach on the hair or something like that because I'm kind of just a little bit careless when I do these things but um yeah so I tied up the hair which made it a little bit difficult to actually get to but it made it easier to like not get bleach on the hair and um have issues with that and then I just used one of these little like hair dye brushes and I applied it to the lace and I only left it on for like exactly 10 minutes and I rinsed it out with some cold water I feel like they I could have bleached them longer but now that the wig is installed I feel like it was the perfect amount it's not really too bright but it's like bright enough where the knots don't look black and it's not too tight and anything so I feel like it definitely did make a difference and then I wanted to like do something different with this wig 
and I know a lot of people have been adding like the brown or like blondish part to the top of their hair but I wanted to do just like a patch so I just took the end of the little brush applicator and I kind of parted like a small little patch about two it's probably like two inches by one inch and I just added bleach to this I like laid foil down and then I applied um, the bleach to the section of the hair and I just tried to be as careful as I could with this and that's basically it I used the leftover bleach from um, me bleaching the knots from before and I just left this on the hair for about 20 minutes and then I was gonna go in and actually dye this like a different color but I kind of like the color that it came out so I just added some purple shampoo that I had just to take out some of like the super yellow orangish kind of color even though it's still pretty brassy it's not like orange it's just a very very warm tone light brown so yeah, I went ahead and I just took some purple shampoo that I had and I added this to the section and I let it sit for about five minutes. I rinse it out and then I lightly co-wash the entire hair or the entire wig. Um, and I just added some conditioner and I just rinsed it out and as you guys can see well you can see now um, the curls are a lot nicer. They're like almost looser and they just look a lot more natural. The curls that came directly out of the pack I wasn't that big of a fan of but as soon as you wet the hair it honestly transforms the curls into their natural curl which looks a lot nicer now in terms of installation I do like to leave out the from ear to ear of my natural hair with my wigs I find that it just looks a lot more natural for me it works a lot better and I don't have to spend so much time like perfecting the frontal so if you are interested again in like how to install this frontal without leaving out hair there are lots of tutorials online and being that it is a six by six closure you have a lot more space to make it look like a frontal and play around with the front of the hair and to help it look a lot more natural but I just went ahead um, prior to installing I just clipped out the combs that were on the inside because there are combs in the back and there are two like that are on the sides but I took those out because I never use combs only in the back um, and then I did go ahead and cut off the lace I put a wig cap on my head and I applied the wig just to get placement of where the closure was and I played around with the section that's blonde and I wanted to figure out like where I wanted that to fall so before I actually went ahead and installed the wig I just was trying to figure out where I wanted it to lay. Now I do use the got to be glue um, gel or glue to install my wigs. Um, you guys can use whatever you like and prefer. But this just works pretty well for me. I do also use the ghost bond if I like want to install something a little more securely. But I have been just using the ghost, the got to be glue, and it works really well. I'm running out of the yellow one, so for the first two layers, I actually used the black one. But I found that it didn't actually stick that well, and I had to go in and add another layer of the yellow. So I'm just starting by putting small layers um, from the area where the actual lace frontal is. I'm not putting it from ear to ear because it is just a six by six closure. So I'm just putting it um, like one layer and then I'm just blow drying on cool until it like dries and then I put another layer, I blow dry on cool until it dries down and then I am taking the yellow got to be glue and I'm applying a thicker layer of that and I do blow dry it but then I went ahead and I just like let it dry and I was like hanging up some laundry in the meantime. And then I just took the wig, pulled it forward, and laid it down and kind of, I do this like scratchy motion where I kind of like scratch the lace to help it stick down to the gel and the glue a little bit better. And then I did go ahead and put on a scarf and again I just let this sit. This is a longer process. If you use Ghost Spawn, I feel like it dries a lot faster and it just sticks down and it's kind of set, but it is something that lasts a lot longer and it can be a little bit harsher on your hair. Since I am applying this gel directly to my natural hair, I feel like I'm more comfortable using the Got To Be Glue, being that it just comes off with water and it's not really pulling out my hair too tight um, so I went ahead and I did that I let it sit and then I did um, I also like to reinforce my wigs by sewing them down so what I like to do is I took down the half up half down ponytail that I had and I section off about one inch back on the actual wig from where the wig starts and I pull the rest of the hair back and then I just start sewing. I use a curved hair needle and I sew from ear to ear. I make sure to like pull the wig down and like kind of add a little bit of tension um, on the ends and really double knot at the beginning of 
the stitch and then I just sew right across some parts I'm actually knotting and some parts where it was actually blonde or brown I actually just put the needle through because I didn't want the thread to show if I decided to part in that area but when your hair is all black you don't have to worry about that but yeah I'm just sewing it down um not really anything too crazy or any specific way. I just like to do this because it adds security and it takes some of the tension off of the gel and the glue because that's the only thing holding it down. The wig is really going to be pulling at the hairline. So I like to sew it down just to add some security but also to relieve some tension at the hairline. Um, and then I went ahead and took my natural hair out. I actually didn't really do much to my natural hair I just like wet it as I was taking it out of the braids and I kind of just like blended it with the hair And I also used the got to be glue gel on my baby hairs So I went ahead and did my baby hairs and I just kind of you know figured out where I wanted it to be parted The wig and defined the part a little bit better I did notice that this part lifted up a little bit so I just went ahead and added some more got to be um glue and I'm just taking the comb and helping it lay but as you guys can see it's the got to be glue doesn't hold as much as I would like it to sometimes it works better than others I honestly don't really know I think because I put the two layers of the black instead of just doing all the yellow it's like not staying as well but I just went ahead and added some right here and I'm using the comb I find that this actually like helps make it look also more natural um, taking the comb and like pressing it down in the part um, it helps it just like lay into the natural part but yeah this is what it's looking like the glue right here is still wet but not too bad you know yeah I wanted to do something different with this like random little brown section so yeah that's basically what I did to install this wig that's how I've been installing my wigs and I really really think it's effective and it works easy for me um, the hair was still a little damp when I first installed it it's still a little damp in some areas but it's starting to dry and I feel like I'm getting like the full density of it um, if you guys know me you know I like like big thick hair I don't really like when my hair is like thin or there's like gaps here I do not like that um, so I'm really liking how this looks I I still don't know I might actually dye this like section a different color but for now I like it I think it's pretty cute and I really like the texture of this hair um, overall opinions I think this wig is constructed really nicely I like the 6x6 closure um, wig I feel like um, you get a lot of density because it's not a full lace wig but you do get a lot of parting space, which is really nice. Also, I feel like this wig is more affordable. If you guys wanted this exact wig in 22 inches, 180 density, I believe it's like $223. So I think that's really good. I feel like that's a really affordable price for a wig. And again, personally, I'm someone who just loves wigs. I feel like I love to switch my hair a lot. And even if bundles are like the same price or even more expensive or cheaper, I feel like it's just more worth it to have your hair on a wig and you could just uninstall it and reinstall it when you want and have a style kind of already set instead of having to like put in bundles. But again, that's personal preference, but I just feel like you get, um, a lot for your money especially for $220 that's like not bad at all I really really love this texture and also when I dyed this part I literally bleached it with 40 volume developer and it might look a little frizzy right now because I've literally just been like playing with the hair but the texture is still there it's still curled up and has a nice wave so I really do love that and I really appreciate that um, there is a little bit of shedding, I will say. I mean, I'm not running my fingers through the hair while it's curly right now, but when I did co-wash the hair, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was some shedding on my hand, but again, that was directly after I bleached this section and I bleached the knots, and it was my first initial wash. I haven't been getting any shedding, like, since. I'm not really, like, seeing anything falling out while I'm playing with the hair, but I did get a good amount of hair in my hand from just running my fingers through the wig while I did co-wash, so I will point that out. But the hair is extremely soft. I love this texture and curl pattern. I like that the texture on the frontal matches the texture on the hair because that is an issue that I feel like occurs and it's so irritating. So I like that that all matches and it's looking good. Um, Again, the hair took nicely to bleaching it. It installed really nicely. It's so soft. Like, I really wish you could feel it. It's literally curls, but it's so soft. 
Um, and you could definitely put product in this hair and define it. As you guys can see, it's already getting a little bit frizzy. I did go ahead and cut some like random like layers to add some fullness to the hair. But I like that. I feel like hair looks natural when it's frizzy. Natural hair gets frizzy. So I don't really like to do too much and put product on my like wavy or curly wigs. And I also really like this texture. It's their water wave. And I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer. Super effortless. And yeah, guys, I'm like rambling and talking so fast and so much. But I really like this hair. There's like a mirror right behind. And I'm just like looking in the mirror, feeling myself. Um, and if you guys are wondering, I am wearing these really dramatic lashes, which were actually sent to me with some other wig. Like they were just in the box. And I was doing my makeup today and I decided to put them on. So yeah, this is the entire look I don't really think I have anything else to say this is um I guess an initial install because I did just install the wig but I will be back posting more videos very soon and I'll let you guys know in a future video if any of my thoughts change I'll also let you guys know in the description box down below if like any of my thoughts change because by the time I edit this video and upload it it will have been probably a little bit more time with me like you know of me with the hair so I will clarify my thoughts and opinions and like put it in the description box with little pros and cons list so yeah again this hair is from Asteria hair thank you so much for sending me this hair as you guys know though just because a company sends me hair does not mean it changes my opinion on it I'm gonna always let you guys know what's up um, I feel like this hair is really thick but I feel like it's not really 180% density. I feel like it's honestly more like 100. So I would say that if you did want the wig to be thick, to like put that and to make sure that you um, like specify that when you order the wig. Because it is like kind of poofy because I added like the layers, but the actual hair itself is not like that thick as you guys can see you see what I'm saying so I would keep that in mind but I'm really happy with this density but I don't think I would want anything less so do keep that in mind and it is 22 inches let me put it down a little bit so you guys can see so this is like under my breast area and this is exactly where it falls I'll show you guys in the back what it's looking like and the hair has movement. Ah! I love it. So cute. Also, if you guys are wondering, this t-shirt is from Zaffle Men's Section. I did, like, an entire haul a long time ago of, like, Zaffle Men's Section haul. Like, the men's try-on haul. So, I'll have that link down below if you're interested. But, yeah. I like this hair. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys like this, like, little random dyed part? I, like, needed to do something different. I've been, like just in school and just like serving basic everyday looks every day and I wanted to do something different so I'm excited about this I'm gonna definitely probably do some more fun things in the future and sorry if I've been looking like over here and over there and over there and not here um as you guys know it's been a minute since I filmed and also I'm just like feeling this hair so I'm like looking at the viewfinder and looking at the mirror behind <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'll have everything listed down below and linked down below for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this hair on me down below. Let me know if you guys try it out or if you guys like recreate some type of look with, you know, this like dying thing. Let me know. Send me photos. Stay connected. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go back ghost. I will be posting again more. I just was taking time to myself and... From all of it, from all the social media and the electronics and all that stuff, you know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful or you just liked watching me do my hair and something you were entertained or something. I just hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any other questions that I did not address in this video. Again, check the description box though because I will have it a lot more clear than probably how it sounded in this video. Um, and yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.